Hello students, today I am going to teach you to solve quadratic equations. An equation of the form ax to the power 2 plus bx plus c equals 0 is called a quadratic equation. This type of equation we call quadratic equation. Before solving quadratic equations, let us consider the following. When you multiply any two numbers, answer is 0. What can be these two numbers? 0 multiplied by 0. Answer is 0. Or 0 multiplied by any number. Answer is 0. I am going to write here 5. 0 multiplied by 5. 0. Any number multiplied by 0. Answer is 0. 0 multiplied by 0, 0 or any number multiplied by 0, answer is 0. Now consider this equation. x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 3 equals 0. The mathematical operation in between these two terms is multiplication. x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 3 equals 0. When you multiply two terms, Answer is 0. At least one of these two terms should be equal to 0. I am going to write it as x plus 2 equals 0 or x minus 3 equals 0. Now I am going to subject x here. Take plus 2 into right hand side. It is minus 2. Then subject x here. Take minus 3 into right hand side. It is plus 3. These are the solution of this equation. We call this is roots of the equation. Roots of the equation or no? solution of the equation. x equal 2 or x equal 3. Solution no roots of the equation are x minus 2 and x equal 3. Let's start to solve these quadratic equations. The mathematical operation in between these two is multiplication. When you multiply these two terms, answer is 0. At least one of these terms should be equal to 0. x plus 2 equals 0 or x minus 5 equals 0. Now subject x. Take plus 2 into right side. It is minus 2. Here subject x take minus 5 right side it become plus 5. This is the answer. Solution of this equation is x minus x equal minus 2 o x equal plus 5. Now look at second example. Again multiplication of two terms equal to 0. We can write 2x plus 3 equals 0 o 3x minus 1 equals 0. Now subject x in this equation. First take plus 3 into right hand side. It is minus 3. To remove 2, divide both sides by 2. These two cancel. x equal minus 3 over 2. Now this is also equation subject x here. First take minus 1 into right side. It is plus 1. Divide both sides by 3. x equal 1 over 3. Answer is x equal minus 3 over 2 o x equal 1 over 3. This is the solution of this equation. Now look at third one. The mathematical operation in between these two terms is multiplication. Here you can write multiplication. So mul when you multiply these two terms it, it is equal to 0. At least one of these two terms should be equal to 0. We can write 5x equals 0 or x minus 2 equals 0. Now divide both sides by 5. 0 divided by any number. Answer is 0. Subject x here also. Take minus 2 into right side. It is plus 2. The solution is 
x equals 0 or x equals 2. Let's start fourth example. 3x to the power 2 minus 12x equals 0. First you have to factorize this expression. What are the common terms? 3 common and x common. You can take common terms out from the brackets. 3x and write the remaining terms within brackets. Here x and 12x divided by 3x. It is 4. Now here multiplication between these two. 3x multiplied by x minus 4 equals 0. Now you can separate these two. 3x equals 0 or x minus 4 equals 0. Divide both sides by 3. 0 divide by any number 0. Here subject x. Take minus 4 into right hand side. It is plus 4. This is the answer x equals 0 or x equals 4. Let's start fifth one. 5x to the power 2 equal 20x. In a quadratic e expression, first you have to arrange one side of it as 0. Now look at fourth one. Right hand side 0. Then you have to factorize left hand side. Here I am going to arrange right hand side as 0. Take 20x into the left hand side. 5x to the power 2 minus 20x. First arrange one side of the equation as 0. Then factorize the other side. Here 5x is common. Take it out from the brackets. Remaining x minus 4. Here mathematical operation is multiplication. So you can write 5x equals 0 or x minus 4 equals 0. Now subject x divide by 5 x equals 0 o take minus 4 right side it is plus 4. Answer is x equals 0 o x equals 4. Let's start sixth one. First factorize this side x to the power 2. You can write this as a square it is 3 to the power 2. Now this is difference of two squares. You can write this as factors. Factors are x minus 3 and x plus 3. Now here multiplication. Multiplication between these two terms is equal to 0. You can write x equals 0 or x plus 3 equals 0. Now subject x. Take minus 3 right side. It is plus 3. Take plus 3 into right side. It becomes minus 3. Solution of this equation are x equal 3 and x equal minus 3. Let's start 7th one. First arrange one side of the equation as 0. I am going to take 25 into left side. It becomes minus 25. Now you can factorize left hand side. You can write 4 as 2 to the power 2. 25 as 5 to the power 2. Now this is difference of two squares. Write factors. 2x minus 5 and 2x plus 5. Now there is a multiplication between these two terms. At least one of these two terms should be equal to 0. 2x minus 5 equals 0 or 2x plus 5 equals 0. Now subject x. First take minus 5 right side. It is plus 5 divided by 2. x equals 5 over 2. This term x e 2x equals minus 5 divided by 2. x equals minus 5 over 2. Solution of this equation is x equal 5 over 2 or x equal minus 5 over 2. Now look at 8 question. This is a trinomial quadratic equation. First factorize this left hand side. To factorize this one first multiply first term and last term. It is 6x to the power 2. Now separate into two terms. 
when you multiply these two it should be equal to this one when you add these two it should be equal to minus 5x terms are minus 2x and minus 3x now write minus 2x and minus 3x for 5x take common terms out it is 2x remaining terms x minus 1 take common terms it is minus 3 remaining terms x minus 1 now factors are x minus 1 and 2x minus 3 there is a multiplication between these two terms so you can write x minus 1 equals 0 or 2x minus 3 equals 0 subject x x equal 1 or 2x equal 3 divide both sides by 2 x equal 1 or x equal 3 over 2 the solution of this equation is x equal 1 or x equal 3 over 2 ninth example x plus 5 to the power 2 I am going to expand expand this expression x plus 5 multiplied by x plus 5 here index is 1 here index is 1 when you multiply these two it is equal x plus 5 to the power 2 now here multiplication symbol x plus 5 equals 0 o again same term subject x take plus 5 right side it is minus 5 now same answer x equal minus 5 or x equal minus 5 just write only one x equal minus 5 this is the solution of this equation now look at 10th one x minus 1 to the power 2 equal 9 first arrange right hand side as 0 take plus 9 into left side it become minus 9 now you have to factorize left hand side x minus 1 to the power 2 9 you can write as 3 to the power 2 now this is difference of two squares here square and here also a square difference of two squares now I am going to write factors add these two and subtract these two x minus 1 plus 3 one factor then x minus 1 minus 3 add these two and subtract these two now simplify minus 1 plus 3 it is plus 2 minus 1 minus 3 it is minus 4 now we factorize this equation two factors there is a multiplication between these two factors at least one of these two factors should be equal to 0 x plus 2 equals 0 or x minus 4 equals 0 now subject x take plus 2 right side it become minus 2 take minus 4 right side it become plus 4 this is the answer x equal minus 2 or x equal 4 let's start 11th one first arrange one side of the equation as 0 I am going to take all terms into left hand side plus 7x become minus 7x minus 12 become plus 12 right side is 0 first arrange one side as 0 then factorize the other side this is a trinomial quadratic equation first multiply first term and last term it is 12x to the power 2 now separate this into two terms two terms are minus 3x and minus 4x x to the power 2 minus 3x minus 4x plus 12 equals 0 take common terms it is x remaining x minus 3 take common terms it is minus 4 remaining x minus 3 factors are x minus 3 and x minus 4 
Now there is a multiplication symbol between these two. So at least one of these terms should be equal to 0. x minus 3 equals 0 o x minus 4 equals 0. Now subject x. Take minus 3 right side it is plus 3. Take minus 4 right side it becomes plus 4. This is the solution of this equation. That is all for today. Goodbye everyone.